Do you worry that political instability, which is not really at the forefront, but it's not political stability in, in, in Europe, means that it's more difficult to take reforms needed to protect the euro and the euro, euro area in tough times? I think that's uh, the experience um, in many areas that it's easier to come together and find agreement when there is a crisis because then there's pressure from the outside um, and we have seen that in the euro area um, five, six, eight, nine, ten years ago, including the creation of the ESM, it all happened with a surprising speed mm -hmm. because 19 countries had to agree on really something new. When we are out of a crisis and we are very happy to be out of the crisis, it's not surprising that it takes longer because 19 countries have to come together. They have different views, different starting positions. So it takes longer, but I much prefer to be out of the crisis. Uh, are you worried that recent developments in Italy, for example, mean that they will uh, delay <coughs> doing the outstanding reform on the ESM? Well, we do need a consensus among member states, so um, every country is important, but we work very well together with the current Italian government. Mm -hmm. um, we had a meeting of the Eurogroup on Monday and the Italian finance minister, Roberto Gualtieri, is fully on board with the reforms that have been under discussion. So I'm confident um, that we will find an agreement um, by March. But how critical is it? So this is of utmost importance that this gets finalized by March? Um, I, that's my expectation and um, in the Eurogroup there was a very um, broad consensus that this um, should happen and will happen. Are we going to get a common deposit insurance scheme? In, well, that's different. Europe. So when I say March, this is wrapping for up ESM, yeah, the, the ESM reform, reforms, ITV. which is one important element. Um, so the mandate of the um, ESM will be broadened. Um, new facilities will be created. Mm. So that's important one. on its own. But it's only one element to strengthen uh, monetary union. A lot happened the last 10 years. This is the next step. What is still missing then is indeed to complete banking union. Yeah. And that um, is on banking union, the element that's missing is a common deposit insurance. Um, that will take a while. That will not be wrapped up um, by March or June. But we are starting a political process to make it possible that it can happen over the next few years. But how important is it that we have it for financial stability? And what kind of compromises will uh, member states do? I think in the long run it is an important element. We need a complete banking union to be better prepared for the next crisis. Of course, today we are already much better prepared than we were 10 years ago. But these are additional elements that would make monetary union even more robust, more resilient. So um, common deposit insurance is one element. Mm -hmm. There are other elements which are controversial at the moment. But overall, one always has to remember that the glass is much more than half full. Um, mm -hmm. I would say um, two thirds, three quarter of um, the things that were needed um, 10 years ago have happened. Mm -hmm. That makes mm -hmm. Montreal Union much more stable. But it would be good um, to do the remaining um, um, elements like EDIS in order to be even better prepared. We don't know when the next crisis but comes, not the next few years, I think, but one day. You talked about controversial elements. What will happen to those? Will people back down from them or will they be abandoned? Well, again, as we are not in a crisis, um, it takes longer to come to a consensus, but I think we have shown again and again in the European Union and in the um, monetary union um, that we will that we are able to yeah. come to an agreement um, after a while, even if the starting position is very yeah. controversial. Um, and the elements are clear. Common deposit insurance, macroeconomic stabilization facility, one day even um, a safe asset. These are, the agenda is well defined. Um, we have done a lot. Yeah. And we are working now on the remaining issues. Um, President Trump arrived here. He talked uh, about a lot of things. Uh, leaving, he uh, talked about possible tariffs against Europe. How important is it, given the general context that we're seeing, that Europe does more to promote the euro on an international level? So as an economist, it's very clear, trade wars are bad for growth. Mm. And for all sides, it's bad. So um, I hope that can be avoided. Um, I think we have had already a negative impact on world growth because um, world trade is not growing very fast anymore. Yeah. Um, last year was the slowest growth in world trade in decades. And that, of course, means also it has a negative impact um, on, on growth rates in every country. So hopefully this can be avoided. Um, but it doesn't mean that we are entering a new crisis um, like 10 years ago. Um, it's regrettable 
trade wars are regrettable because they mean lower growth than what would be possible. But it doesn't mean automatically that the next crisis is around the corner. But what does it mean for euro? Does, does the euro need to start challenging the U.S. as a reserve currency longer term, even if it takes 10, 15 years? So we were talking about the trade side, and of course there um, the European Commission um, is in charge of our yeah. trade policies, and they have made very clear <clears throat> that um, they will take action if, um, if the U.S. imposes tariffs. Um, the international role of the euro is, um, goes beyond that, yeah. um, and I think that is becoming increasingly um, um, the focus of the debate in Europe. I think um, more people are now in favor of having a stronger role for the euro, which is partly also the um, answer to the United States, the current administration withdrawing right. from multilateralism. Yeah. Um, Europe believes in multilateralism, and um, one way to strengthen European sovereignty, um, there are many elements again, but one element is the international role of the euro. And to strengthen that, um, I think we have to work exactly on the agenda that I talked about that is well defined.